In Florida, fall isn't marked by a magical change where leaves transform into brilliant colors. We have our own amazing shades of orange and yellow. And of course, gold. Our fall season, it's ushered in by a migration of epic proportions. I think what I'm seeing right now might very well be the calm before the storm. At least I hope so. Hey, who's looking at who? All of the boats and fishermen lined up on the pier are an excellent sign. Let's head down the beach and see what we can find. Oh, look at this. It might be late in the year, but it isn't unusual to find the occasional freshly emerged hatchling like this little loggerhead turtle. You've got a long way to go, my friend. Keep at it. I scan the incoming surf for signs that the migration is here, but I see nothing promising. Could I have missed it? Could I be here too early? Am I in the wrong place entirely? Like my excitement and hope, an incoming wave crests, falters, and slowly settles. But a surfer's untimely spill catches my eye. And a few finicky fish hurtle themselves high into the air. I get a closer look, and like a kid on Christmas morning, my excitement starts to grow the moment I notice an all too familiar silhouette slicing through the surf. Things are about to get really interesting because the migration is definitely underway. Millions of fearful fish are now migrating south and hundreds of hungry predators are chasing them high into the air. When these fish start their incredible journey down the coast, they're not alone. The osprey are right behind them. Coincidence? I don't think so. From its high vantage point on a freshly emerging century plant, this beautiful osprey can see everything. A young brown pelican enjoys the plentiful bounty that fills its semi-transparent pouch with nourishment. A different, more inexperienced brown pelican finds itself in the wrong place altogether, but something in the distance catches its eye. People have also flocked to the beach to take part in the feast, and their nets are overflowing with fish. Their coolers are quite literally packed to the gills, And the moment they leave their cooler unattended, a bold and brazen wood stork moves in and happily helps itself to a snack. Ironically, people are packed in like sardines on the pier. And some are brave enough to wait out for a better vantage point. But the sharks are here too, and it's a little risky getting caught up in the middle of this frantic, tooth-filled feeding frenzy. Unless you can somehow manage to rise above it all and just go with the flow. 
With the sharks and tarpon now working together to corral the mullet into shallower water, the fish don't stand a chance. The smaller tarpon come from the right, the massive silver kings come flying from the left, and as a last ditch effort at survival, hundreds of mullet attempt to evade the predators by beaching themselves. But the beach isn't safe either. Predators come in all shapes and sizes. Some have feathers and beaks, and some have eight efficient legs and two very powerful claws. The aerial apex predators take their place in the sky. Six very hungry osprey survey the waters below. But these birds don't hunt in packs. They prefer a solitary hunting style, and they are fueled by an unbridled determination for survival. Once they find their target, they come falling out of the sky with an unbelievably orchestrated, yet highly calculated grace that has them crashing talon first into the cool waters below, and at times, submerging themselves completely in a foreign underwater world. All of the dramatic footage that you just witnessed was captured on the Sony A7S III, the A1, the Sony 200-600, the 600F4, and sometimes the 1.4 teleconverter. And thanks to the incredible technology that's packed into all of that gear, we all get a front row seat to the action and get to witness it like never before. And speaking of action, that little turtle, it actually survived its way down to the waterline. There was an intervention of sorts. Um, so the crab didn't get away with it, even though, you know, nature is brutal and it is what it is. If you like this video, please share it. That's extremely helpful to me. You can post it on social media, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. You can share it in emails. You can share it via text. Like I said, not only is that helpful for, for me, but it's also helpful because it raises an awareness for all of these animals that were in this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I got a lot of great content planned. Plus, I have a huge backlog of content. Over 100 vi 150 videos you can go browse through at any time that you want. And if you would like to support me and what I do, one of the best ways that you can do that is you can purchase my Osprey Coffee Table book. It's over 150 pages, and it's got some of the best Osprey imagery ever, along with some amazing stories. I don't want to give away too much because a lot of people have already pre-ordered this book and you can get it at the link in the description below. Um, if you had a favorite moment in this video, go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. Like I said, like it and share it, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you later.